so we got a lot of cop activity around here on uh, I-94 eastbound just out of Jackson, Michigan and uh, gosh are we going to close the dang highway maybe a bad one and then uh, <laughs> just when I was entering onto the uh, expressway <clears throat> I flipped my four ways on kind of like this guy behind me the old Ford and uh, that's when I'm I usually do that when I'm entering into a traffic jam just so people it's a heads up for people behind me without you know so I don't get rear-ended and uh, sure enough I saw this must have been an F-250 it was all freaking lifted it just it hit the rear end of the car with such velocity that uh, it went sideways on the expressway here comes another cop weaving through here oh what the shit What a mess. There goes the prowler. State police. Yeah, state police, Odie. Law enforcement. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I didn't realize he's behind us. Move over, people. So I don't have concerns about it having lead paint in it, right? Like that's not lead, lead an issue with that new of a home. At this point, I'm trying to get down to what may have Listen caused the exposure. NPR on the Bay on I-94, just that after Jackson. They're commonplace besides paint where yeah, so children and children can get here. exposed to lead. So I'm going to get my soil tested once the snow melts up here. You know, trying to figure out what your line is made out of is not exactly easy. I know some of our staff, especially in Detroit, have tried to get a hold of the same information that I got from the city of Grand Rapids, and they haven't been able to do that yet. This is information that cities should have compiled 25 years ago when the lead and copper rule passed. But this week, the EPA has decided that they want water systems across the state to put that information on their websites. And I have a feeling that that's going to be very difficult for some cities to do, not only because the data is not in an electronic form that you can just throw on a website, but even the paper records that we have in some of these older cities are not exactly accurate or there's lots of records missing. So I imagine a lot of people here. Well, that reminds me, I should probably get the water tested in Grand Rapids. They have lead lines. A lot of people are probably getting concerned about this. Everybody's behaving themselves, getting in a single line. My brother, years ago, said, you want to be obnoxious at an accident? Say, hey, what happened? How to be obnoxious. Good. Jackson County Department of Transportation. M. Dot. <coughs> Blackman Township. <coughs> you know, 
puedo más. So it's a fender bender. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid any of the yeah, carumba, that's a good one. That's a major rear ending. And with that I will end my video.